The most controversial initiative of his presidency reflected the Ronald Reagan who had faith in America and in his own ability to rescue and to prevail. I call upon the scientific community in our country, those who gave us nuclear weapons, to turn their great talents now to the cause of mankind and world peace, to give us the means of rendering these nuclear weapons impotent and obsolete. Let me share with you a vision of the future which offers hope. It is that we embark on a program to counter the awesome Soviet missile threat with measures that are defensive. To Reagan, defense was a moral imperative. But a daunting task to those who had to work out the details. Perhaps there would be satellites in space with computer-guided lasers that would zap enemy missiles. Most scientists dismissed Reagan's Strategic Defense Initiative, or SDI, as unworkable. He was known to have a rich imagination. I think Ronald Reagan really believed in SDI. I, I think he had this view that, I mean, it was like the way he used to talk about events that had actually happened in the movies as if they really had happened. I think he was like, uh, you know, Star Wars, the movie. All right, Aiden, focus that inertia projector on him and let him have it. The Star Wars in which Reagan starred was filmed in 1939. What is it? The inertia projector. It's a device for throwing electrical waves capable of paralyzing alternate and direct currents at their source. The inertia projector. It not only makes the United States invincible in war, but in so doing promises to become the greatest force for world peace ever discovered. It was sometimes difficult for Ronald Reagan to distinguish fantasy from reality. He believed in this so strongly that he, he, he began to think that SDI was in existence when it wasn't even on the drawing board. That's, that's, he so passionately, passionately wanted, wanted there to be a, a nuclear defense. In a loose way, it was a, it's a religious notion of the city of God surrounded by an inviolable barrier. The, the, the weapons of the heathen will bounce off our shield and shatter into fragments. We will be inviolable here beneath this shield. Shield, shield. He used the word shield a lot. Reagan presented SDI as a benign shield. The soothing rhetoric may have disguised another motive. I think President Reagan saw SDI as being yet another pressure on the Soviets, so something that they could not withstand, and I think he was right. Whether it would work or not, it was a heck of a challenge to the Soviet empire, which was having a very difficult time competing uh, economically and uh, otherwise. The first reaction was really frightening. I mean, people were just uh, enormously frightened by, uh, by that uh, program. In part, I think, because it uh, probably revealed in their minds the impossibility for the Soviet Union to really compete in that area because of our uh, technological inferiority at that time. SDI became an expensive research project. Reagan's dream of making missiles obsolete was for the future. He still had to cope with their threat. 